I tried to commit suicide on two separate occasions, unsuccessfully. On the first occasion, I stood at the ledge of a window and tried to jump. And on the second occasion, I held a knife to my stomach and was ready to push. I was abused from the age of five all the way up until I was 15 years old. So I grew up thinking that it was completely normal. And this was my life, this was my childhood, completely surrounded by abuse and violence. I started smoking cigarettes when I was 12 years old. I started smoking weed when I was 13 years old and I got hooked to both immediately. It got to the point where the addictions just got too much. The depression got worse. And so I tried to fix my problems with relationships. I had a fear of men because of my past experiences with them. And so I was drawn to intimacy from women and I wanted to explore those types of relationships and I did. But again, it didn't fill the void. I continued to go deeper and deeper into depression and brought nothing but shame and embarrassment to my family. I tried to bring my family members into some of the things that I was experiencing, the addictions and the relationships, just so that I could share my pain with them. Maybe they could understand what I was experiencing. But again, it just caused more shame, more misery. And if anything, my family wanted to be as far away from me as possible. So now on top of depression, I was isolated. And that's when suicidal thoughts became strong. I even wrote a goodbye letter to my family members. And so that was the moment when I stood at the ledge, stood at the ledge of that window and was ready to jump. I didn't do it because of fear. And then I felt worse because, wow, I couldn't even do that, right? I couldn't even take my own life. I began to beat myself up and grew even more depressed. I stopped bathing. I stopped taking care of myself. My only purpose in life now became to be high and to forget. I then tried to take my life a second time. With a knife, I held it to my stomach and I was ready to push. And I did, I pushed and I pushed. And again, fear and pain stopped me. And now I was completely lost. The only solution that I had for my life, I couldn't even do that. I was invited to the church by my stepsister, who was and is in the church. And she invited us as a family to come to the church. At the same time, I was invited by a school friend who was also attending. On one occasion when I came, I attended a meeting. And in this meeting, I heard a message that I will never forget. Until this day, I remember these words. With God, you can be whatever you want to be. And in that moment, something happened inside of me because that was the first time anyone in life believed in me. And so I continued attending, thirsty to, to find out more, to discover more. And in each service that I attended, I learned so much more about God. I learned so much more about me. It was like a lesson every single time and I would put into practice what I was learning. And I could see changes, I could see improvements in my thinking, in my understanding, even in the way that I saw myself. And then there was a campaign, another opportunity to really give my life to God because I was understanding that I needed God, but that He wanted me also. And so I gave my all in the campaign. I gave my all, I, I sacrificed my salary, I put my life, everything that meant something that, that meant me into that envelope. Because what I wanted was so much more important. I wanted a relationship with God, true intimacy with Him. I wanted to know Him, I wanted Him to live inside of me. I wanted to be baptized, sealed with his Holy Spirit. I came down from that altar knowing that I had given what was asked of me in every way. And from that moment, my life has just continued to grow, to prosper, 
My understanding has continued to grow and to mature. My relationship with God has grown more and more intimately. I am not the same person. I have peace, I have joy, God is with me. And even more, I understood that I had to forgive those that hurt me, those that abused me, and I did. I forgave them and I forgave myself. I let go of the hurt and the shame. I started to love myself, to value myself. Today, I no longer bring shame to my family or to myself. My family are no longer sh ashamed of who I am. In fact, they are proud, so proud of the person that I am today, filled with the Holy Spirit and happy, full of peace and joy, always smiling. I have the Spirit of God inside of me and I want to share Him with the world. And when it comes to my love life, God has really blessed me. I think it's important to share that in as much as it was important for me to find the person who, who God has brought into my life, it was as important for me to be the person that this man of God also needed for his life. I met my wife in the church and uh, our life is amazing. And uh, we have been married for one year now. It's a wonderful marriage we have. But then this wasn't my life before. I was an addict. First got addicted to alcohol, then I moved on to using cigarettes, then moved on to using marijuana, and uh, later on I got hooked to crack. This was the climax of my life. It was, it hit me so bad that this, this time I got an overdose and uh, went out, blacked out for over 26 hours, and this scared me completely. So at that point I wanted to seek help. It was the 29th of July, 2015. That was the first time I walked through the, uni the universal church. And uh, from that point, I got free from the drugs. And then uh, I moved on further because I now wanted this new life. I climbed the altar. I participated in campaigns, gave my life. I received the Holy Spirit. And this was the most amazing thing that uh, would happen to me. Without the Holy Spirit, me and my wife as a couple, we can't make it because the patience, the love, the joy, us being in one faith, us being driven to the same goals is the most amazing thing. We got married in the church on the altar of God and he really is a blessing to my life and we are so happy. But even with this blessing, the most important and the greatest blessing in my life is the Holy Spirit. 